Hi, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com at another video of CrashPlan. And in this video, we are going to have a look at the mobile client that comes as a native download for the for your iOS or Android devices. And today we are going to have a look at the iPhone device as I'm having an iPhone 4 here. And I'll just going to show you how that works and what you can do with the CrashPlan Plus app. So let's just start right from the beginning. Let's uh, start our little uh, iPhone here. We unlock it and we go right into the App Store. And when you're in the App Store, just go to the search uh, icon and search for Crash Plan. And it should be the first result in the result page. And then you can download and install the app after having typed in your password. As I said before, it is a native app, so you really download it from the App Store and do not access your files just via the Safari browser or whatever. And this is pretty convenient because you have your files always at hand. So after downloading the CrashPlan software, just tap on the icon and log in with your credentials. And after having logged in, you can see your devices. So you can see here, this is my iMac where I have been backing up my files with. And after some initial loading time, you can see all the files that you've been backing up all the time and also can access those files. And the best thing is you can preview those files and download those files to your iPhone and then transfer that to any other device that you might like and need. For example, you forgot a presentation at home and now you have to give a, an important speech, but without the presentation, obviously this is gonna be difficult. So you just can tap on the presentation, it downloads it, and then you can preview the presentation here on your iPhone and for example, send it to you by mail and get it on the PC wherever you might want to hold the presentation on. So let's say you want to preview not only a presentation, but also, well, what kind of file do we have in here? So you want to preview a PDF or want to read, I don't know, you want to read a PDF that you've downloaded from the internet and now you are on a train ride and you just tab on the PDF file and when it's downloaded, you click on it and you can just read the PDF from within your iPhone. And if you need a little larger, obviously you can zoom in as well and scroll through the PDF. So what else can we view with the file browser here? Yeah, we could view, for example, some photos. So if you find a photo that you want to show to somebody or, or have a look at yourself, then you just tap on it and it downloads the photo. And sometimes it takes a while, but Whenever it is ready, it gets the check mark, and then you can browse and have a look at the, at the JPEG. I can't stress enough how valuable this feature is to me because I tend to forget a lot of files when I'm traveling or something like that. And this way it allows me to have all my files basically with me on my iPhone. And after your files have been downloaded, you can view them below downloaded files and can see what kind of files you've downloaded and manage those from there and also obviously uh, go ahead and delete the files that you do not need anymore on your iPhone. So I was really impressed with the ease of use of that software. It really doesn't offer a lot of fancy features. It really offers the basic and the basic is to view your files and get your files while you are away. And in case you have forgotten any important files on your PC or on your Mac at home. So I really hope I could provide you an insight into the mobile software of CrashPlan. Do keep in mind that you need a CrashPlan unlimited account. So you need the unlimited backup uh, functionality with CrashPlan, but they have pretty affordable plans. So you can get a backup for as low as $2 per month. So check those prices out and you can have a look at the whole review I've crafted on CrashPlan on cloudbackuping.com slash crash plan dash review and there i go into great detail of um other features that crash plan offers and also i have other videos um that provide an inside look into the software and into how to back up your files with crash plan if you like this video please vote for it on youtube and share it with your friends and family or link to it on your personal website that will be great. So thank you very much for watching and listening. We are going to see us in the next video. Bye-bye.